Imagine a practice that would have every modern health and safety officer breaking into a cold sweat. Welcome to the fascinating world of slip coaches, an ingenious yet daring method once common across the British railway network. From bustling city stations to rural halts, these uncoupled marvels of engineering served as a solution to a uniquely Victorian problem. How to efficiently stop at smaller stations without slowing down the express train. Slip coaches were specially designed carriages that could be uncoupled from a moving train. Yes, you read that correctly. Detached on the go. These coaches would glide under their own momentum towards a station, saving the time and cost of halting an entire express service. For passengers heading to smaller stations, this was the height of convenience and efficiency during the golden age of railways. The idea was born in February 1858 on the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. The first trial involved uncoupling a section of a Brighton Express at Haywards Heath. By December of the same year, the Great Western Railway had adopted the practice, offering slips at Slough and Banbury. Over the decades, the use of slip coaches spread across the country, from Leeds and Manchester to Bristol and Exeter, and even to services in Ireland. The operation was far more complex than simply uncoupling a carriage. Each slip coach was equipped with a cab at the front, housing a guard, slip gear and a brake handle. This guard was responsible for managing the detachment and safely bringing the coach to a stop at the station platform. The timing of the release was critical. A second too early and the coach might not reach the platform, a second too late and it could violently jolt as it separated from the train. Once uncoupled, the slip coach drifted to the station, where the guard applied the brakes to bring it to a precise stop. While revolutionary, the slip coach had its drawbacks. The slip mechanism required constant greasing and inspection to ensure smooth operation. Segregation. Passengers in slip coaches were often isolated from the main train's amenities, such as dining cars. Complex operations. Additional guards and shunting engines were needed to manage the coaches at their destinations. Some railways, like the London and North Western Railway, tried to address these issues with corridor-fitted slip coaches, allowing passengers to move freely. However, this concept was not widely adopted. By World War I, nearly 100 daily services across Britain featured slip coaches but their popularity began to wane after the war. The Southern Railway discontinued them in 1932, while the London, Midland and Scottish Railway phased them out in 1927. In Ireland, slip coaches were retired by 1940. The last bastion of the slip coach was the Great Western Railway, which continued limited operations until 1960. By then, Advancements in train acceleration and scheduling made the concept obsolete. The final slip coach detached from a London Paddington to Wolverhampton Express at Bicester North on September 10, 1960. Ending an extraordinary 102-year chapter in railway history, today only one slip coach survives. A beautifully restored 1896 GWR clear story roofed carriage. This historic gem now serves as a two bedroom camping coach in St. Germans, Cornwall, offering a unique glimpse into the ingenuity of the past. The slip coach may be a relic of a bygone era, but it remains a testament to Victorian innovation and the relentless drive for efficiency. These daring operations pushed the boundaries of what was possible on the rails, proving that even in the face of challenges, creativity and engineering could come together to create something truly remarkable. So the next time you marvel at modern railways, spare a thought for the slip coach, a bold experiment that glided into history, one uncoupling at a time.